Now to a story that impacts farming in Minnesota as well as what you buy at the grocery store. A herd of dairy cows in Benton County is infected with bird flu. I was able to track down the state vet to talk through what this really means. So what is the risk here? Well, he told me that the main concern is that they don't want this to spread from dairy farms to poultry farms because bird flu is deadly for birds and it could really hit our poultry supply hard if it keeps spreading. Here are some of the precautions that farmers will now have to take. We have to make sure we're not sharing personnel between facilities. We have to make sure that uh, vehicle traffic is, is limited between facilities. And we also wondered, what does it mean for cows? Well, the cows are quarantined while they recover. It's a virus, so the state vet you just heard from told us that their body's able to clear it in a few weeks just on their own immune system, so they'll be fine, but the cows can't move off the farm until they test negative. Now, uh, the state vet and his team, they'll investigate and essentially contact trace if there were any cows from this infected herd that were moved to other farms, and then they go and check on those cows and isolate them as well. And as far as what it means for milk and what you may see at the grocery store. Will anything that you buy at the store be unsafe to drink? And the answer, according to the state vet and the CDC, is no. They dump all the milk from the infected cows, and even if a cow is asymptomatic and their milk somehow reached the supply chain, we learned it's pasteurized, and yes, the CDC says that is safe to drink. Now, as for dairy farm workers, the chance of them getting sick from cows is low. The state vet told me he's only aware of three U.S. cases of humans contracting bird flu in recent months. This is out of thousands of people tested, by the way, and all of those people worked in uh, close proximity with the cows, if not directly. So symptoms that the people with cases uh, noticed were pink eye-like symptoms or upper respiratory problems. So Jeff, MDH is doing confidential free testing and medications for farm workers as needed, and they're also offering PPE so that those people can help prevent exposure. Yeah, got to get in front of it. Okay, thanks, Aaron.